Hey Cougar fans, we're here with Tegan Molden, Molden senior forward for the University of Sioux Falls Cougars women's basketball team. They picked up win number 15 tonight as they defeated Concordia St. Paul 69-64. Um, Tegan had double figures tonight. She came through with some shots in the fourth quarter. Sometimes, Tegan, when you uh, get into games and have such a good game against Northern where you're hitting a lot of shots and you come home, it might seem easy, but it really isn't, is it? No, no. Some of those shots, yeah. I mean, a lot of my teammates set really good screens for me. Coach has been calling some sets, so it's been really good. Um, nice to get some of those threes off and have them go in. So. so to get a win here at home, feel pretty good? Very good, yeah. It's nice. Moorhead and Northern, are, it's a tough road trip, so coming home is really nice. And Concordia was a good team, so it was a good win for us tonight. So when you were down tonight by, I think it was up seven or eight points, um, you guys never lose faith in what you're going to get done, right? No, not at all. Um, we were down, you know, seven, ten points. It's all about defensive stops. So um, stops first, and that's going to create our offense for us. So how, how do you feel about your defensive effort tonight? I think maybe at first it was lacking. Um, I think maybe towards the end of the second half and the end of the first half as well, um, we sharpened up a little bit. We just got to start out a lot better than what we were on the defensive end. Maddie Robson hit a couple of threes toward the end of the third quarter, which seemed to lift you guys because in the fourth quarter you really kind of took off and then were able to build up to, I think it was a seven or eight point lead. Mm -hmm. Shots huge. Yeah, very, very good threes. I mean, most people don't necessarily see her as a shooter all the time, so to see her... Um, make a couple of threes and uh, put the ball in the hole is huge for us, and especially getting you know all five people on the court scoring is big. Especially and then, for and then Taylor came through, uh, had some shots along with you in the fourth quarter. Yep. You guys get a run, you're pretty good. Definitely, huh? yeah. It's fun when we start hitting those threes at the end. So. Thanks, Tegan. Thanks, Dan. Hey, Cougar fans, we're here with USF head women's basketball coach Travis Trapagan, whose team picked up a 69-64 win home. At the Stewart Center, the Cougars have now won two in a row. The Cougars uh, had a little bit of issue with shooting tonight. Um, they finally got going late in the third quarter. Maddie Robson picked up a couple of threes, which really came to, seemed to spark you going into the fourth quarter. Talk about um, how you worked yeah. through some of those yeah. issues. There were some issues tonight. <laughs> That's for sure. And I don't know if it was give a lot of credit to Concordia. I'm, I'm well beyond the point as a head coach of saying what we just didn't do uh, Concordia was responsible for a lot of things that uh, that that forced us not to look very good tonight. So, um, you know, just from from the get go, I think the first five minutes we could hardly score in either half. You know, I'm not sure that we even scored in the second half up until the uh, first media timeout. And you know, here's a team that just made 16 threes on a previous Saturday. So, you know, honestly, it, it comes down to and, and and I and I give this this speech to my kids all the time. It's it's not like about being mentally prepared. To play a basketball game, you know, and and I'm never big into calling names out, but we had a lot of kids that, you know, if you watched the basketball game, you probably could tell, you know, who wasn't mentally ready to play. Um, so, you know, I got to give our kids a lot of credit though for on a night that's quite honestly not very good basketball, um, still to find a way to be able to win a, a game down the stretch that isn't important. And and honestly, not every night are you going to look um, unbelievable. But again, give Concordia, like I said, a lot of credit where. You know, their, their post did a great job uh, tonight. The Russell kid had 24 on us. Uh, not only affected the game on the offensive end, but I also thought affected the game on the defensive end of the floor as well, where, you know, a lot of times we attacked and she had a number of block shots or altered a, a lot of shots, and, and we just didn't, we just weren't very sharp. So, again, as, as much as I've learned through being a head coach of eight years that you always want to look good doing something, Give our kids a lot of credit. Give Tegan Molden, who provided a spark for us, hit some hit some threes when we needed them. Uh, Maddie Robson continued to, to be able to knock a couple down. I think Marie Malloy hit a big one in the corner. So so when we when we weren't getting a lot done at the rim, um, we didn't shoot a real, real good percentage from our post here tonight. Um, we needed to be able to get some of those perimeter shots, and some of them were just kind of timely. So I, I am excited that we hit some big shots, and some kids weren't afraid to be able to shoot them. You know, one of the things she did well tonight, I mean, even though uh, Russell from Cody had a big game, you guys rebounded well. I mean, you had a big edge in the first half where you used, and you were able to get to the free throw line, and that, and then you knocked those shots down. Which that really was important. probably the, one of the bigger differences is we got ourselves to the foul line quite a bit. You know, in the second half, they kind of balanced it out where, you know, we were just silly fouls. I mean, just, you know, they're going in and we're just bringing our hands down. We're just not very 
not very smart. Um, but the one thing that Concordia does is, is really rebound the basketball well. You know, Kira Friedenberg, their foreman, just had 20 rebounds uh, in their last game against Mankato on Tuesday. So that was a big emphasis for us, is making sure we try to keep them off the glass. And to be able to hold them to one offensive rebound uh, for a whole basketball game was a testament. That's probably one of the, the bright spots that we did have was on the defensive glass tonight. And finally, um, Taylor Varsho had 23. She started out fire, and then she had a, 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 there was a little period where she didn't get much. But like like you said, you had like an eight nine minute period where you didn't make a field goal. We had a, we had a lot of lulls, and and honestly, you know, our group, you know, is it's what we're going to try to figure out is when things don't go well for us, you know, right away we we put a lot on our starting lineup you know, to be able to get us off to a good start. Because when we do, we just kind of play with a different type of edge and a different type of fire. And we come out flat tonight. Kids were doing things that, quite honestly, not really what we're, what we're looking for. And, and all of a sudden, now we kind of hang our heads a little bit. Coach probably gets worked up more than he, than he needs to. You know, it's just not a, uh, it's not a real good, it's not a real good uh, recipe for success. You know, and honestly, the way we started the, the first half and second half, you know, we'll, you'll, you'll, more than likely, Cougar fans see a change tomorrow in the lineup uh, right off the bat to see if we can get ourselves started a little bit better. Finally, uh, at the end of the day, you pick up a win, a really big win, as you try to build some momentum moving forward. And then you got Minnesota State tomorrow. So a win's still a win, right, Coach? Ab absolutely. And, and that was what we told our kids is, you know, I give you credit when, when you're not at your best, still to find enough ways to win a basketball game. At the end of the day, we let the crowd worry about not looking good and what's going on. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I also had two games in the last two weeks that we lost by one that I'd give anything to be able to have back, in all honesty. So, again, if it doesn't look pretty, that's okay. You know, if we were to beat Moorhead last week, which we lost by one, we didn't look great by any means, I'd have taken that. So, at the end of the day, you know, it's about winning basketball games if it's if it's going to be pretty or, or ugly. So, I give, give a lot of credit to uh, Coach Banky and, and Concordia thought they had a great game plan, they executed well, and we just got, got hot there in the fourth quarter and made a little bit of run, which kind of probably made the difference. Thanks, Coach. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks.